I hope you are fine and healthy and this video we are going to talk about verb so basically a verb is a word which is used to express an action state or position so verb has three functions the first one is action that uh, it describes an action and the second one is state that verb describes a state and the third one is that verb describes position so let's do it one by one the first one is that verb is a word which shows us an action so these are the examples let's see I go to school so in this sentence the word go is a verb and it shows us action so that is why we call it verb the second one is we learn English so in this sentence you see there the word learn is a verb and it shows us an action so that is why we call it a verb he studies books in this example the studies the word studies is verb because it shows us action similarly they watch news so in this sentence watch is a verb because it shows an action let's come to the second one part the second one is <coughs> state so verb is a word which describes a state uh, let's see so it means that in each and every sentence the action is not important that we will always find the action in a sentence sometimes there will be a state okay so let's uh, see that for example i say that uh, i am i am happy so in this sentence you see the m is a verb because it describes state that the subject uh, it shows us the state of the subject that in which uh, state the subject is so in this sentence m is a verb because it describes the state of the subject same is the case with the other examples like she is thirsty so in this sentence you see is is a verb because it describes the state of that subject we are hungry so in this sentence R is verb because it describes the state of the subject and uh, along with that they are fine so in this sentence R is verb because it describes the state of the subject that they are fine the third one the, uh, you can say the last but not the least is the position position word has been taken from possess whenever we have something uh, something which belongs to us so how do we say it so this is the third category of verb so we say I have a car so in this sentence have is a verb because it describe uh, it describes the position of that subject he has a house so in this sentence uh, has is a verb because it describes that uh, what the subject uh, has you had a school so in this sentence had is a verb because it describes that uh, the subject had something in the past so this is all about uh, verb and uh, i hope you got it and uh, let's come to the importance of verb verb is a very important part uh, in each and every sentence because uh, without verbs we cannot make sentences okay so let's see this example for example i say that i am happy in this sentence if i eliminate the m so it becomes i happy so i happy means what uh, <clears throat> there are many possibilities here i can say i was happy does it mean so or i can say i am happy does it mean that or i can say i shall be happy or other examples okay so if there is no verb so the sentence will be ambiguous and uh, we will be in a perplexed situation and we will be wondering that what does it mean so verb is the most important part in every sentence and i can tell you more that uh, verb uh, is like a backbone in a sentence if there is no backbone in a person so he can't uh, he can't do anything properly and uh, additionally i'll add that verb is like a soul in human body if there is no soul so the, the person is dead so same is the case with that if there is no verb in the sentence 
so it means nothing so uh, so we can say that verb is the most important part in each and every sentence and we must take care of that so this was all about verb i hope you got it and uh, see you inshallah in the next video